Coca class of 2021. Uh, this isn't any type of formal introduction, but there are a few things that I want you guys to know about me. Number one, I love music, like a lot. And I'm a musician that plays the keyboard or piano, whichever way you want to call it. I'm one of the Sunday churches in my local area. If some of you guys, some of you guys that know me, you guys have seen me around the place, so you know. I'm just that guy, I'm just a musician. Uh, number two, I like to barbecue, whether it's with friends or family, or just for myself, because sometimes I'm just really hungry sometimes. You know? uh, the only part I hate about it though, is when I have to clean the grill. I mean, I have my brothers to help me, but most of the time when I cook by myself, I have to clean it by myself. That's the part I hate the most about it, like the absolute most. Uh, number three, if you know me, then you know that I like basketball. Whether it's just playing with friends or playing with random people, basketball overall is my favorite sport. And those are just a few of my favorite things that I like to do. Yay for joyful. The kind of joy I get when I play games or I eat food. The joy I get when I can sing away all my awful words. A for always. Like all the ways that you can count on me. The word that describes my consistency. E for easygoing. Something you'll observe if you're ever around me when I wake up. In life, I've learned to never sweat the small stuff. D for defiant. Refusing to fit in. Walking on my own even if it means I'm going against the wind. And A for ambitious. I will always aim for more. After this, you'll have to do nothing but watch me soar. Data. Hi, welcome, 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 welcome. This is um, the All About Me segment featuring me and me only and all my greatness that follows. Um, I'm just gonna share a little bit of interesting things, facts, you know, um, some of my greatness um, to all of you guys. So hope you guys um, enjoy. So first thing, let's see. As you notice, I am wearing sunglasses and to some of you, this looks pretty familiar. I'm also wearing slides on both feet. And um, I do post pictures with me in slides and sunglasses a fair bit. And the classmates are always like, oh, why are you wearing your slides again? Oh, you're wearing sunglasses again. Guys, I'm wearing the same thing. Don't tell me what to do. I'm posting whatever I want, okay? Um, what other interesting things about me? Um, I play the trumpet, brass instrument. Um, not the best, not the worst, um, just average try to help the band out as much as possible. What else? I am a certified swim instructor. So yes, I can teach your children how to swim. What else? I am a also a certified lifeguard. So yes, I can save your children from drowning. Um, another thing I enjoy is soccer. I, um, I try, I, I really do. I don't have the technique properly. I was on a team that, uh, Never played a game, so I didn't really get the full experience, but you know, I I do what I can. Um, I use an excuse that I broke my leg, which happened five years ago, and none of my classmates ever believe that anymore. They always, whenever I don't want to do something, I just pull out the broken leg card. It doesn't work. No one ever listens to me anymore. So I've slowly stopped using it, but uh, I'm moving on, so new people, I'm gonna try it again. Um, lastly, I can drive by myself, so if you ever wanna hop on my level, name a time, name a place, pull up, and we can race. Part two coming soon, maybe. <clears throat> Hello everyone, uh, my name is Malik Munga Kali, uh, and I'm Grant part of the class of 2021 as well graduating this year and I must admit it's been quite a wild ride you know when I first came to Crawford I wasn't planning on doing much didn't expect much I was just planning on getting A's you know acing my classes and then leaving I didn't really expect to get along with the teachers as much as I did uh, some of the students as well I didn't expect to make any friends you know I, 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 I honestly I just didn't expect anything at all really but uh, things did turn out really well at this school I must admit and I have my mom to thank for that 
mainly because, you know, of course she's the one who sent me here. But I also want to thank my sister and my stepfather because my entire my entire family just encouraged me a lot to do my best and of course not to give up in school and even help me when I need help. Uh, the staff have been great, all the teachers that I've had uh, in the past three years that I've been at this school have been great. Uh, the staff have been amazing as well. Miss Godso, Mr. Boyce, Mr. Hall, all of them be absolutely amazing. Mr. Hall is actually the one who spoke to my mom uh, so that I could come here. They both thought that it would be good for me to come here and um, well, here I am. Uh, I also want to thank some of my classmates as well actually. I. I'm actually good friends with some of them, which is a relief because I'm not used to that. Didn't really have much of that going up, so that's good as well. Some of them have even checked up on me, make sure that I'm doing okay in school, personal life, things like that. So, honestly, my experience at Crawford went much better than I thought it would, and I have my family, my classmates, and the school staff to thank for that. So all of you just thank you very, very much. Hi, my name's Alyssa. I'm the youngest of two sisters. I love playing sports, working out, singing, and also drawing or painting. I also love spending time with the people I care about and doing fun things with my friends, whether it be spontaneous or planned out. And yeah, that's all about me. Hi, my name is LaShondia, but most get mixed up and call me Lavani. I pass the time reading and gaming, for example, Born of Betrayal and Animal Crossing. I have three sisters and one brother, all who do not hesitate to bother. I am part of a very interesting group which is full of people who know how to show their roots. Now at the end of my poem, I want to thank you so much. I made this all without a hitch. Alright, um, this is my introduction of myself. Well, you know, you never really think about describing yourself all the time, so, uh, you know, I am Nathan. I am the current class president. I love art. I love to draw, you know, I, I'm in love with music, um, you know, um, you know, this class has been a really big part of my life, and I think I'm overly detailed at times, probably most of the time, um, and, you know, I just, I, I love my friends and family, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Please bow your heads and close your eyes for opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for taking the graduates this far. Thank you for bringing us all safely through these trialing years as we've had to face school through COVID and being apart. Thank you for giving us this blessing of having a little um, time for the graduates to show off who they are and hope that we will also do it through your grace. In your name I pray, amen. Hello, Lady Wild. Sir Rule, how are you? I am good. God is good. God is great. Yes. How are you? Awesome. I'm I am great. You, I'm telling you, we have an interesting program tonight. We certainly I'm do. You, I have seen tons of these kids. It's off the chain. We have a very talented group of students. Yes, I don't think do. you recognize that. Yes, we do. But guess what? Not only do we have a talented group of students, mm. parents too. Parents? Do we have some surprises what? in store for you? Man! We have Whoa. music videos. Oh, what? Music videos. What? Games. Pictures. Pictures. I want to see some of those pictures. This is going to be fun. I really have some TikTok videos. Wow. Well, TikTok videos? You want to do a TikTok video? I'm an old school, I'm an FB person. I'm a I'm a TikTok. TikTok? Oh, I have no idea. Man. But guess what? 
It's gonna be a great night. It's gonna be a great night. Yeah. These kids, they worked hard. Worked so so hard, and we were just uh, anticipating. <sighs> great things. Great things. Okay, so look at this program here, but but you know what, Saru? I think it's time to just unwind up here. Yeah. It's been a rough year. Rough, rough year. These kids have had a me. rough year. Trust so you know what? Yes. Have fun. Have fun. Have Everybody, have fun. I'd like to thank Miss Wiles and Mr. Rule, our sponsors, for working so hard in order to make this graduation special. I know sometimes we may come across as ungrateful, but we really do appreciate your hard work and all the things that you've been doing behind the scenes in order to make this program special. Um, also, Mr. Boyce, Mr. Aravello, Mr. Brown, Ms. Archer, everybody else that helped to make this program great. Um, thank you so much from the depths of our heart. We really do appreciate it. Miss Wiles, Mr. Rule, um, I just want to thank you for all that you've done for us throughout this year and for putting up with our class even though we are a bit of a handful. Um, it was a good few years with you, a good four years. You came with us in high school. You were, it was your first time. When we, were, when we just entered high school, you also just entered the Crawford High School of Teaching. And it was a new experience for you. It was, new experience for us as well and I'm thankful that we were able to grow together to make it this far and to graduate and with you as our sponsor so thank you again and hope you have a good next few years of Crawford. Miss Wiles, Mr. Rule, I'd like to say thank you. Since day one of high school you guys have been there for us. And believe me when I say, we're all thankful. We've had our ups and downs as a class, but we've never given up on each other. And even though COVID-19 has taken a lot away from our class, I'm thankful that you guys were able to give us what you could. Thank you for doing your best for us. And as we're leaving, I pray each and every day that you'll continue to do your best for the next generation the next classes that are coming after us. And don't worry, we'll visit you guys once in a while. Right now, I just want to extend a really big thank you to Mr. Rule and Ms. Wow for just being the most amazing sponsors, especially this year when our class is feeling really discouraged about graduation and just grade 12 in general. They really put in the extra effort and went the extra mile to make sure that we had the most amazing year and the most amazing graduation. I appreciate you both and thank you for everything you've done for me and my class. Hi, Ms. Walls. Hi, Mr. Rose. Lashandi here. I just want to say thank you for everything you guys have done in my life and the rest of the class's lives. Your lessons will be put to use in the future so that we can achieve our goals. I just want to say thank God for putting you both in the path that I needed because I felt like I was going downhill. I felt like giving up plenty of times. But you guys continue to believe in me and to continue to push me in the right direction. And I want to say thank you for that. I'll never forget the efforts you guys have done for my class. And I hope that our class will never forgets what you guys have done for us. I pray that the students behind us will continue to grow and use your lessons as valuable items in their lives. And they will not take it for granted. I want to say thank you once again, and I hope to see you in the future. Until next time, bye. Mr. Rule and Ms. Wiles, thank you for being our beloved class sponsors. You guys have been there from grade nine until now. And again, I would like to say thank you for pushing this class to the best we can be. We have had our ups and downs, and we've had to overcome some bumps in the road, but overall, we were able to get through it. As you can see, this class, class of 2021, is graduating, and this would not have happened without your input and support. I am glad to have worked alongside my amazing class sponsors, and I hope that our paths may soon cross again. To the sponsors of the best class, Mr. Rule, Ms. Wilds, we graduated, we're done. Look at that. Uh, ever since grade nine, you guys have uh, been through it all. Uh, class challenge, 
staying extra so we can finish the work that we were supposed to do uh, earlier. And you guys getting mad at us just to uh, not win year after year. But hey, we won this year and that's all that matters. Uh, we got you guys a win. Um, but seriously, I want to thank you guys for being through everything with us and supporting us along the way. I also want to thank you guys for all of graduation. You guys have spent your uh, time to make it the best that it can possibly be despite the circumstances. So, um, yeah, good luck trying to find a better class than us. That's not going to happen though. Just heads up. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys, um, continue to, um, do well and we wish nothing but the best for you two in the future. Hi, my grade 12s. So it is time for us to say goodbye. We have come to yet another graduation and now it's your turn to leave these hallowed halls of Crawford Adventist Academy to go on to do even bigger, better, greater things. I have every confidence that you are all going to be successful at anything you put your hands to. You're a class that's unique in so many different ways. And I must say it has been my honor, it has been my privilege to not only be your class sponsor, but also to be your English teacher. You challenged me and I like that. I like the fact that you didn't settle if there were questions you had, you asked them, you questioned. And there were times we didn't always see eye to eye. And that was okay. That's all a part of the learning and growing process. So um, as you step out, step out in confidence. I know that God is working everything out for you. He has a special, special plan and purpose for you each of your lives. Always keep him at the center of your life. I'll miss, and I do miss, our devotional sessions together. Before class, we would always have our reading. And there was always a discussion that led to something deeper. You all are deep thinkers. And many times we had to bring Pastor Sherry into the conversation because there were times I just didn't have the biblical responses that I felt you needed to have. And sometimes those discussions would take up sometimes half the class time and that was fine because sometimes that's needed. So I admire you as a class. I admire your growth. I applaud your growth. And I know that you are gonna make us all proud I know you're going to make Crawford proud, your parents pr pr proud, and anyone who is wishing you well proud, because that's just who you are as a class. You strive for excellence, and excellence is going to come your way in whatever format it may be. And so as you step out and as you leave us behind, don't forget us. Still say a prayer for us as teachers, as administrators, students, parents. This is a difficult time that we're living in. And not just because of this pandemic, but because this is just the way the world is. So don't forget about us. Keep us in your prayers. Keep us in your thoughts. And I know you're moving on and you're going to be occupied with everything that your new life has in store for you. But as we're thinking of you and wishing you well, we ask that you do the same for us. Always remember the lessons you've learned. Learn from the lessons. And don't make the same mistakes that you've made. But allow yourself and forgive yourself to make mistakes. And then when you do make those mistakes, find your way back and find your way back to God and to making things right. I'm so very proud of you and I wish you well and keep in touch.
don't forget about us. May God continue to be with you and bless every path that you take. Dearest grade twelves, this has been indeed a journey, a journey of ups and downs through thick and thin. Yes, we weather the times until now, and it's time for you to go. I've seen you at your best and at your worst, and I know that with the ten tenacity and the wherewithal coupled with your faith base that you possess, the sky is indeed the limit. I know that you will do well. I have really pressured you in terms of advanced math and calculus, and I know that the other teachers can see that you will achieve your academic success. I have no doubt that the little talks that we had has made an impact on you. I've seen you grow and mature into fine young men and women ready for the world, ready to take on any task. I know that you will succeed. I remember the moments when things looked really grim in terms of finishing up focus questions and accomplishing various tasks. But you managed to surmount the hurdles and now you're looking at the final hurdle for high school. You have indeed finished strong and I'm thanking God for you every single day. I prayed for you and nurtured you like you're my own children. And I'm thanking God for the opportunity to have been your math teacher, one of your sponsors and literally a father to you. There are times in which we had to have that talk and I realize it paid off. I'm hoping that you may take the wisdom that has been encouraged on you and make use of it. Make Crawford proud. Make your parents proud. And most of all, make God proud. Continue to give your best, to do your best. Achieve for the highest. Never settle for mediocrity. God bless you.
your season of grief, your season of tears. Your heart has been broken and so filled with pain. I know that you are hurting. I know how you feel. Your nights seem more darker without sunshine ahead. It will get better, it will get better, won't last forever, won't last forever. And if you trust in the Lord, your love will turn to pain. Just remember, it will get better. Dear graduates, your journey through the halls of Crawford Adventist Academy has come to an end. It has been an exciting four years in spite of the challenges of the pandemic over the last 16 months. This now marks the point in your expedition. Yes, an expedition of adventure and great possibilities. Your resilience over the last four years will empower you at whatever your undertakings will be. It will not always be easy, but as I quote from Oscar Wilde, when it rains, look for the rainbow. When it's dark, look for the stars. Congratulations again to the class of 2021. I'm proud of you, and may God continue to bless you in your future endeavors. Blessings, and be good. Thank you. Class of 2020-2021. Congratulations for making it up to this point. I'm sure the journey wasn't easy, yet you are here today. Tomorrow? Well, the world keeps turning and it takes us with it, but remember, there is only one constant, and that is Jesus. Take every step with faith. Big or small, He is always going to be there. It was truly a pleasure to, be, to meet you here at Crawford, and thank you for letting me learn by your side. Because, spoiler alert, we never stop learning. Congratulations. Hey, class of 2021. Congratulations. You've made it. All those late nights studying, getting up in the morning when it was cold, trudging to Crawford in the slush, all the sacrifices, the tears, the stress, it's all over and you've made it to the end and you've run a good race. And you know, even as one race is ending, another is beginning. There are cures for cancer to find. There are mountains to climb. There are rocket ships to go on to discover new worlds. And I wish you nothing but the best on this new leg of your journey. Wishing you God's protection, God's speed. Hope to see you at Alumni Weekend. Gonna miss you guys. But if I don't see you again in this life, hope to be able to play some soccer with you guys with Jesus on the Sea of Glass. Hello and congratulations, seniors. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
I am so happy for this moment to give you tribute. I didn't have the privilege of teaching you while you were in high school. However, I had the honor of teaching you when you were in grade seven. And it was an honor because the talent that each and every single one of you had and still have blew my mind a lot. I was ready to take you guys out on the road. I was like, okay, let's put school aside. We need to develop this ministry. I mean, I have memories like um, Siaba Humba Yotina. Um, remember my health. Uh, let's see. O Canada for grade eight. You all were the first class to have five part harmony for the O Canada. That was the first time that I attempted that with a class, and you guys were superb. Oh, also the box kit. Remember, um, each box had a certain uh, spiritual weakness, a characteristic, and and then the characteristic changed. Your acting skills as well for that. That was fabulous, and I have all of that still on this CD. Your class was the last class that I actually made CDs for me. Who does CDs anymore? But um, everything is captured here. If you want a moment to, over the summer, find your CD and look at the footage of the amazing things that you all did. Don't lose that. Some of you know what you're planning to do for um, August or September for schooling. Some of you still don't know yet. And that's all right. But what I'm encouraging you to do is to bring God in every single step that you make, every single decision that you make. Your future is so broad and amazing, and I don't want you to be derailed. Include God in everything, because he knows the plans he has for you, plans to prosper you, plans to give you a future. So class of 21, Congratulations again, love you all, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen with you in the near future. God bless. Hi guys, it's graduation time, and it's time for you to leave the hallowed halls of Crawford and Bethesda Academy. And we wish you all the very best as you go and explore new things, have new adventures, and I pray that you continue to put God at the center of everything that you do. I will never forget our class discussions where we've had Pastor Sherry who has to come in sometimes to give us her biblical feedback on different things that we've been discussing. You are a group of thinkers. I appreciate every moment that I've ever spent with you. You've challenged me as students and I appreciate each and every one of you. I know you're going to do great things. You are so talented, each and every one of you. You have so many things ahead of you and great things to achieve. So go with God. And I pray that you will continue to think about us, remember us, pray for us, as we will continue to pray for you. I wish you the best. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hey, grade 12, it's your graduation. I am so proud of you. Congratulations, you made it. You made it through a pandemic. You made it through a time when the whole world is going crazy. Congrats. I was reflecting and I, re I realized that your class is, ex is extra special to me because I've known you for the longest. When I started working at Crawford, you would have been in grade three. I hope I'm doing that math right. And I've known you since then. See you through um, you know, grade six, junior high and of course all the way through high school and I was so looking forward to all the trips we were supposed to have together but it didn't happen but I'm blessed that you are still resilient you're still positive you're still uh, looking forward you still have your head on your shoulders you're still uh, godly you're still I mean it's a blessing to me just to think of how much you have survived and yet excited about your future and look forward to seeing what God does in you, with you, and through you. God bless you, graduating class of 2021. Okay, so one of my 
weird or abnormal talents is being able to clap super fast with my hands. So normally when you're clapping, it's hard to go super fast for a long period of time. But, however, if you're me, <clears throat> no problem. My talent is playing keys or keyboard slash piano, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some of you all that know me, uh, you know that I like to play, you know, piano and all that. Um, some of you guys have seen me at your church and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a quick snippet of a track that I was working on. You know, just a regular simple track that came to mind. I hope you guys like it. Welcome to my 62nd Art Corner. When the sun comes shining through To make those rainbows in my mind Chili And I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us Go Shondi Go We can make it if we try Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is the tongue twisters. So you might get the either the bloopers now or later. I'm only gonna do about like three or four. All right, so let's start with number three. How many cookies could a good cookie cook? If a good cook could cook cookies, well, that's a question. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, take one. Take two now. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as much cookies as he. Uh, oh, gosh, why did I sign up for this? Betty Botter had some butter, but she said, "This butter's bitter." If I bake this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter that would make my batter better. So, she bought a bit of butter, better than the bitter butter, and she baked it in her but batter. And the batter was not bitter. So twas better bitter butter. Oh, so twas better Betty butter bought a bit of better butter. Whew. All right, let's try that one again. <sighs> Betty Botter had some butter, but she said, this butter is bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter bitter. So, she bought a bit of butter, better than her bitter butter, and she baked it in her batter and the batter was not bitter. So, twas better Betty butter, but a bit of better butter. Yay, I think that was, that was nice. These are good ones. You should try some. Okay, this is um my shot at doing some tongue twisters I was given. So, let's see how it goes. Um, 
How many cookies could a good cook? How many cook? How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook cook as many cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Wow. Okay. Um, a little more challenging than I thought. Um, let's do another one. Through three cheese trees, three. Through through three tree, through three cheese trees, three fleet. Through three tree. Okay. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breezy blew. Freezy breezy made these trees. Three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what I. That's what's made these three. That's what's made these three free flea sneeze. Okay, wow. Um, Betty Butter. Betty Butter had some butter, but she said this bu this butter's bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter. And she baked it in her batter, and the, and the batter was not bitter. So it was better. Betty butter bought a bit of better butter. Got that one at the end, kind of. Little part was a little sketchy, but you know. Um, when a doctor doctors a doctor, does the doctor do, doing the doctoring doctor as the doctor being doctored wants to be doctored, or does the doctor doing the doctoring doc, doctoring doctor? as he wants to be doctor wants to doctor okay. wow. um, i saw i saw a saw that could outsaw any saw i ever saw saw if you happen to see a saw that can outsaw the saw i saw saw i'd rather to see the saw you saw saw Susie works in a shoe shine shop. There, where the Susie, Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines this. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines. She sits, and where she sits, she shines. And uh, yeah, that's that's uh, my take. At a few tongue twisters. Um, definitely screwed up a bit, but uh, nah, whatever. Hi, my name is Jada, and right now I'm just going to be reading a few tongue twisters that I have here. So, starting from number one. Can you can a can as a canner? Oh, no, that's not what it says. Okay. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Okay. Number two. There was a fisherman named... Oh, no. Okay. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher. Hmm. There was a fisherman named Okay. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher. Till a fish with a grin pulled the fisherman in. Now they're fishing the fisher for fisher. Cool. Number three. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Okay. Four. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump. Mm. Okay. Okay. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stunk stunk, but the stump thunk the stump. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stunk. Mm. Okay, I'm skipping it. Okay. <laughs> Number five. Uh, lesser leather nether what? Mm. Okay. Number five. Lesser leather nether mm. Lesser leather never weathered wetter weather better. Cool. Six. Susie works in a shoe shine shop where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Number seven. I wish to wish the wish do you wish to wish. But if you wish the wish that I wish, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. That was hard, but like I did that very well. Okay. Number eight, Luke, uh, 
Loop Luck. Okay. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke. Mm. Luke. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke Duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke Duck. Mm. Okay, I'm skipping out things. Okay, nine. <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay, number nine. Through three cheese, mm. through three cheese trees, mm. oh, that is what it says, okay. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew free, mm. no. Okay. <laughs> through three cheese trees, three free fleas through, no. Okay, last time, okay, last time. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. <laughs> freezy breeze made the three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Number 10. I saw a saw that could saw any saw I ever saw. Mm, that's not what it says. I saw a saw that could saw out any saw. I saw mm, no. I saw a saw that. Okay. I saw a saw that could saw any no. Try again. I saw a saw that could saw any saw I ever saw saw. If you happen to see a saw that can out saw the saw I saw saw, I'd like to see the saw you saw saw. Okay. Eleven. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Betty Butter had some butter, but she said, this butter's bitter. If I take this bitter butter, it would make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter, better than her bitter butter, and she baked it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So twas better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. She sells seashells by the seashore. When a doctor doctors a doctor, does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as the doctor being doctored wants to be doctored, or does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he wants to doctor? Okay, hello everyone. I'm now going to do some tongue twisters. Please ignore the giant laptop I have in my hand. <clears throat> I'll be going in order, so I'll start with the first one. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Now the second one. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished for some fish in a fisher. So the fish with a grin pulled the fisherman in. Now they're fishing the fisher for Fisher. Well, Number three, how many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook would cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Easy. Number four, a skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump sunk stunk. Wow. But the stump thunk the skunk stunk. Okay, that one was actually kind of difficult. Lesser the leather, never weathered. Wetter, weather, better. What? Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits. And where she sits, she shines. That was number six. Number seven now. What? I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish the wish that I wish, I won't wish the wish you wish. Uh, this is the my tongue twisters part of the program um mr rule got some weird things for me to say uh, i'll be doing about three or four of these so let's get this going number one can you can a can as a canner can can a can number three how many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies a good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. Um, let's see. Number eight. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck. 
Luke Luck Licks Lakes, Lux Ducks Licks Lakes, Duck Takes Licks in Lakes, Luke Luck Likes, Luke Luck Takes Licks in Lakes, Duck Likes. Um, number nine. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Wow. Um, yeah. I guess that's my, uh, my tongue twisters here on Mr. Rule. I guess he did a good job. <laughs> So, what is your name, sir? My real name? Um, do you have a fake one? 
No, I want to say that. I could, I could have a fake name. Do you want me to have a fake name? Um, Only if you want to. Please identify yourself. Dwight. <laughs> Can you give your full name, please? Because that could be misleading for some people. Call me Richard Dwight. Oh. Sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, Mr. Balfour. Um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna give you a few tongue twisters for you to read. I would like you to read the first one out loud. Can you? Can I? Can as a canner? Can can a can? Thank you. Now, what's the meaning of it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> can you can? Can I? Can I what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can you um, please read the second one for me? Right. There was a fisherman named Fisher who fished some fish in a fisher, fissure till a fish with a grin pulled the fisherman in. Now, they're fishing the fissure for Fisher. So what did the fissure fish? Fisherman. So why, why didn't the fisherman fish the fisher? I don't know. Thank you for your attempts. Um, we'll, we'll... Hello, miss. Please state your name. <laughs> Is that an interrogation? Uh, Ma'am, please. Shermian <laughs> Lewis Balfour. Please repeat that. I didn't catch that. Shermian Lewis Balfour. Okay, um, so we're gonna ask you a few. We're gonna ask you to read um, something. Can you read number fourteen for me, please? Betty Butter had some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I bake this bitter butter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bitter, better butter that will make my batter better. So she bought a bitter butter. Bitter butter, better than her bitter butter, and she baked it in her butter, and the butter was not bitter, so it was better, better Betty butter, but a bit of better butter. <laughs> Ma'am, can you say that again? <laughs> From the top? Yes, yes please. please. Betty butter has some butter, but she said this butter's better. If I bake this bit of butter, it will make my butter better. But a bit of better butter will. Silence in the peanut gallery, please. That will make my butter better. So she bought a bit of butter, better than her bitter butter. And she baked it in her butter. And the butter was not bitter. So it was better, better, better butter. But a bit of better butter. <laughs> Anything else? Um. Can you can you say it again? But this time, take out all the bees. <laughs> Betty Butter had some utter ut. She said this utter is itter. <laughs> if I ache this itter utter, it will make my utter itter. Ut a it of etter utter. That will make my utter etter. So she ought a it of utter, etter than her itter, utter, and she ate it in her utter, and the utter was not itter, so it was etter, etty, utter, ought a it of itter, utter. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your time. Thank you. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna miss him so much. <laughs> False. I will not miss him. I'm going to use his room as a second closet to store all my keyboards, um, my laptop, all my cords, and basically anything I don't want in my room. <laughs> wow. So, um, you mm -hmm. think your parents are gonna miss you? Well, you know, I know it's gonna be hard for them, being because I'm their their best son, their mom's best son. That's why I have this book to prove it. Just pretend to say well, it's something. It doesn't say But I'm gonna get married to And best cousin as well. And uncle, even though I'm not uncle. But they don't have to. 
What does it taste like? In the cup. <laughs> does it taste like family? Ridiculous. I you know what? We need to we need to have a real race. We need to take this to the road. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's have a real race. like another Mario Kart race. Okay, this is gonna be challenging. I actually have more horsepower than him, but I don't have a turbocharger. I don't have the dynamic mode. I don't have all wheel drive. He has a lighter car. I think I'm a better driver, but this is gonna be challenging. Number one victory. Yeah, I don't know. I think I got a jump on him, but um, horsepower got me in the end. Of a, I don't know. Might as well go back to Mario Kart. Why waste the gas? Peach would understand at least. It's a good race. All right, good race. Yeah. Good race, little punk. But next time, next time we race, we're gonna race on these. Then we're gonna see who wins. Come on, Mom. Oh, you're recording. <laughs> good if your eyes are closed okay <laughs> Three, 
So keys two, you know. Keys two. Two what? Two, two points. points. Two, two points. points. Yeah. Keys two points. Keys two points. Keys two points. Keys two points.
the final say. You say.
the what and the what is love And it's sent from up above And I'm not worthy of I know the who and the who is you The Alpha and Omega Your Daddy and your Savior I know the when and it's over and over again Who proved to be my friend from the morning to the end And I don't have a spectacular bone in my body But you love me anyway
it's Nathan again. For this part of the program, I'm just going to be thanking all the people that made this Saturday Night Spark program happen, or as we like to call it, the SNS. I'd like to say thank you to my classmates, because if you guys didn't persevere throughout the year and complete all your stuff, we wouldn't be having this program right now. Thank you guys for submitting your videos. I know it was very tedious, but we got through it. Thank you to Mr. Rule and Ms. Wiles. You guys created this program, came up with it. And thank you, because if you didn't do this, then we'd probably be having a very boring Saturday night. Um, thank you to our video editor, Manny. You did a wonderful job editing these videos for us and putting it all together. Thank you. And just to you, our viewers, thank you for enjoying this with us and participating with us because it really, it really motivates us to keep going. And I'd like to thank God because if we didn't receive these prayers from friends, family, and even the Crawford family itself, I don't know if our class would have made it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this program and have a blessed day. It is now time for the closing prayer. The closing prayer will be done by the class. So please bow your heads and close your eyes for prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for the opportunity for the class of 2021, my class, to be able to share their Saturday night program with everyone. Thank you for this amazing opportunity to celebrate in this setting. Thank you, Father, for keeping us mentally strong at times where we felt like we had no one to talk to or lean on. Lord, since we're all going into different fields of study, I just pray that you help us all get our dream jobs in the future when we're done with college and university. Lord, please guide and protect each and every one of my classmates. Help them to overcome every test and trial that may come in their way. Thank you for guiding us throughout this first part of our lives, and please be with us as we journey into the next chapter. Thank you for bringing us to this point in our lives, uh, guiding and protecting us. Please continue to be with us as we continue on life and all the journeys ahead of us. Dear God, help that the bonds that we made during high school will last um, our lifetime and that you will be with those bonds as we make it throughout life. God, help us to know that you'll be there to guide our paths as we enter this new chapter. Lord, we thank you for our milestones and for bringing us through this year safely and without harm. Thank you for putting our teachers in our lives, Lord. You've really blessed us to have such amazing and supportive people in our lives. And I pray that you continue to bless them now and in the future and that we may never forget the lessons that they have taught us. Thank you for being there for us during our highs and our lows. And please guide us during our new journey of post-secondary. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask that you surround my class and I with your love and with your grace. I ask that you bless us as we move into the next phase of our lives, that we may be moving with eager and open hearts. Thank you God for sparing our lives and for guiding us throughout this hectic grade 12 school year. Thank you Lord for allowing me to see graduation and allowing me to get an award. I pray that as I go on my future endeavors, academically, socially, and emotionally with other people, you be with me and you guide me, and you help me understand that people are different, and the better that I'm able to equip and talk to them, is the better I'll be able to spread your message to them, and they'll understand that it's not me talking, it's you talking through me. So please use me in my future endeavors. Lord, I ask you to help us all become the best versions of ourselves as we go into this new chapter in our lives. I just want to say thank you for bringing us here. I want to say thank you, Lord, for carrying us throughout the year. We thank you, Lord, for being the center of our lives and bringing us this far. I pray that we will have a good rest of the, rest of the year. I pray that you guide us and lead us into the right path. Please help us to accept you and help us to follow your footsteps. I pray that you will remember everything that happened 
And I pray that we will make wise choices in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Some folks are dying, some can't get along. Things may not be easy, but we have to try. Lord, I want this to be over. Please save our lives. We have to trust in you for all the things we try to do. Even though we cannot see, you got the answer. Lord, you see the pain, you see the hurt, even though there's no solution, you know what works. It might seem confusing, but you have the cure, said that if we trust you, we will endure. We have to trust in you, for all the things we try. Just know that I'll be with you, though things aren't the same. 